agnosticism what is agnosticism agnosticism is the view or belief that the existence of god or the divine or the supernatural is unknown or unknowable some are of the belief that human reason is incapable of providing sufficient rational grounds to justify either the belief that god exists or the belief that god does not exist an atheist is someone who does not believe in a god or gods while an agnostic is someone who doesn't believe it's possible to know for sure that a god exists or does not exist agnostics assert that it's impossible to know how the universe was created and whether or not divine beings exist agnosticism is not a belief system but rather a claim about the limits of human knowledge agnostics are not saying that they do not believe in god but rather that they do not know if he exists or not there are two types of agnosticism weak and strong weak agnostics say that it is possible to know if god exists but we do not have enough evidence to be sure strong agnostics say that it is impossible to know anything about god including his existence agnosticism is often a middle ground between atheism and theism but it is not always true some agnostics are atheistic and some are theistic it all depends on what an individual believes the term agnostic was first coined by darwin's bulldog thomas henry huxley in the 19th century fundamentally agnostics are unsure about god's existence however this comes again in a few different forms agnosticism is often closely linked to atheism many atheists and agnostics share a common lack of belief in god but all sorts of things lack belief in god agnostics and atheists as well as cats spiders roses bacteria rocks and so on to clarify richard dawkins uses a scale of certainty from 1 to 7 one representing someone certain that god exists and seven representing someone certain that god doesn't exist where does dawkins stand six very low probability but short of zero de facto atheist i cannot know for certain but i think god is very improbable and i live my life on the assumption that he is not there I count myself in category 6 but leaning to it 7 I am agnostic only to the extent that I am agnostic about fairies at the bottom of the garden Dawkins doesn't just lack a belief in god as rocks do rather he is certain that god doesn't exist and he says he is convinced enough to leave as if god doesn't exist there are all sorts of reasons why self-styled agnostics and atheists don't like one or the other label however there is rarely any difference in what they each stand for most agnostics think the probability of god's existence is very low and leave as if god didn't exist dawkins doesn't just lack a belief in god as rocks do rather he is almost certain that god doesn't exist and he says he is convinced enough to leave as if god doesn't exist there are all sorts of reasons why self-styled agnostics and atheists don't like one or the other label however there is rarely any difference in what each actually stands for most agnostics think that the probability of god's existence is very low and leave as if god doesn't exist but note that the ethical force in his statement the initial position should be an agnostic one in the same way if an atheist says i know there is no god they're not saying that their atheism is beyond all possible doubt likewise for the theist who says i know god exists we don't need absolute certainty to know to say we know for sure likewise for an atheist who says i know god exists we don't need absolute certainty to say we know something 
But might the agnostic just demand a high level of certainty to justify claiming to know whether God exists or not? For the strong agnostic, this would mean that nobody can know beyond all reasonable doubt if God exists or not. But to know this, the strong agnostic would need practically exhaustive knowledge of what everyone can know about God. However, may not weak agnostics still demand extremely high levels of certainty to justify knowing if God exists or not? After all, they may just happen to be in a poor place to know if God exists or not. This also has a number of problems. First, either God exists or he doesn't. And theism and atheism imply starkly different worlds. Atheism is a world of no objective purpose, meaning beauty or value. Theism expects science to work. It's a massive accident if God doesn't exist. But this contradicts strong agnosticism, which entails that theistic and atheistic worlds must be indiscernible. It also means weak agnosticism is flawed. The wildly different implications of theism and atheism make it unreasonable to remain agnostic forever. Second, the weak agnostic might be unreasonably incredulous regarding the evidence for God. For instance, most Muslims reject the historicity of Jesus' death by crucifixion based on the Quran. For example, Surah chapter 4, verse 157. Despite the fact that there's overwhelming evidence that Jesus died by crucifixion, Muslims refuse to accept an obvious truth due to a deeply held prior commitment.